Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. My name is Quimby, and today we are going to be back in 118 Hardcore. Um, I'll switch to game view in just a sec, but it is like almost about nighttime, so we do have to sleep pretty immediately. Um, you know, how about we do that and then I'll talk about the plan for today. I, I've had a burst of inspiration. It's going to be cool. Okay, ready? Game view in three, two, one, pop. And immediate sleep. <laughs> Okay, anyways, 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 uh, now that we've, you know, had our sleeping one moment and I've ruined the path, that's fine. Hello, welcome back to this, uh, hardcore world. I don't have a name for it yet, but, um, plans for today. Oh gosh, I feel like I was going to say something before that. Um, is it lovely to see all of you. I'm happy you're here. I hope you're having a good day. But, uh... <laughs> Sorry, just this village generation gets me every time. This is an unlivable village, and I'm about to make it even worse. So I had a burst of inspiration yesterday when I was thinking about this village, and I was like, what the heck am I going to do with this thing? And I just started thinking about all of those, like, ocean cities where the, um, like, the houses near the waterfront are built on stilts. Oh, gosh, what was that? Are built on stilts so that, like, when the waves come in and when, like the ocean like floods a little bit their houses aren't immediately going to get like washed away by the ocean so i was thinking why don't we do that with this village here behind us let's just take this entire thing and put it on stilts so i'm thinking we take this this like random uh thing here i want to build like a, a little like waterway dock like a little zigzag staircase going up to the top of this area here so it's like when you come down to here it's like you're going down to like the docks to the like part by the ocean i'm going to probably fix a lot of this path maybe make it look more like a dock more like you know something's actually happening here and not just weird generation and stuff uh so that's gonna be it's gonna be a yikes i just i don't know what like logically yes it's just the it's just minecraft doing things just generating weird stuff but if you like think about it too hard what were the people who live here thinking when they made this place what were they what were they doing i want to fix this up a little maybe get another like staircase going here gosh i gotta figure out what to do with that floating bit in the sky <sighs> gotta figure out what to do with that floating bit in the sky maybe turn that into like a lighthouse or something maybe we like connect that to the ground and then put like like a ladder going up to big old lighthouse area i don't know that's that <laughs> Uh, in other news, I found my first major project for this world, other than, you know, the the whole main goal is always survive. Let's just- I, oh, I gotta say my catchphrase. Chat, the number one priority for today is, as always, to survive, but I th we might also put in a little bit of building at this point. So what I want to do with this village is I want to make it worse. You see, we've got like these- arms reaching out things i want to narrow this down even more so it's not like it doesn't have like this big bulky underside thing i want to narrow down make, make it really look like this place is like supported on stilts maybe add a layer of like planks holding up with fences you know coming up as supports just basically the idea that these people took a look at the ocean and said hmm let's build a city in the sky i mean this place is already basically unlivable <laughs> I'd, they couldn't even access these houses up here before I arrived and put in these two dirt blocks. I just... It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. The the villagers are A-OK. -okay. Um, side note, I am planning on turning this place into a librarian village. This is going to be where I'm going to have all the librarian friends. So I'm going to trap everyone inside of their houses and then... Uh, and then completely change the topography of their village. So, you know, good times all around. So, uh, I'm, we probably should start with turning some of the villagers into librarians, but I'm very excited about the whole village on stilts idea. So I'm thinking that we instead start taking a look at all of the, all the things that are going to need to get done. Um, I'm going to need to probably remove at least one layer from beneath this maybe two remove two layers add in um aesthetic uber alice after all aesthetic uber alice exactly thank you mr maluk um maybe remove like two layers here put in a layer of planks um and get in some like supports going down i'm thinking that's gonna take so many fences it's gonna take so much wood but you know it's worth it 
I, I'm not thinking we fill like every piece of this with fences. I'm thinking we do like the main like corners and then get like some sideways struts going on. Like maybe get a little X pattern here if we can. And it's going to be disconnected, not look actually like it can hold the village up, but like that's fine. That's fine. That'll, it'll be chill. The difficult part, I think, is going to be the docks uh, ladder because I want to I want to preserve like the feel of of like going down to the docks at a real ocean town, which means I want to build it entirely out of iron blocks, which I don't have enough iron to do at all. That's going to um, <laughs> that's going to be very expensive. Let's just say I'm probably going to need to get some sort of iron farm going to succeed in that. I need to figure out what to do with this thing. Because that one, I think, could be a cool lighthouse. But this one I don't think is large enough. We might just get rid of this floating sky piece because... I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to immediately jump to getting rid of it because I don't want to waste it in case I come up with inspiration for something later. Still things actually sounds really cool. I'm so excited for this project. I... I I'm... who it's, it's gonna... it's gonna be cool. So let's just take a look at some things first. We've got this random piece of path right here. I don't think that's enough to really commit to doing anything major on this side. But maybe we use it as the start of a platform for just like... I think I'm going to need to like make a temporary platform underneath here that I can remove later after I'm done getting rid of all of this. So maybe that's going to be where we start. My inventory is an utter mess, but I think I'm going to need some dirt for this. So, let's find a spot that I feel okay pulling some dirt. Maybe that could be part of a dock or something. If you want to go hard, you can make like a crane holding up the dirt just for kicks. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, it, yeah. I mean, I could turn it into like a boat. I could use the like floating dirt as the basis and then like make a crane like holding the boat and it's being like lowered into the water. I have no clue how I would make a crane because I <laughs> have never built something like that before. But you know, let's let's keep that in the back of our mind. The first most important thing we got to do is get some dirt. And oh, I'm always I always feel terrible about disturbing the natural geology of the land. So let's maybe oh, these trees are going to need to be uh Hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry. Tally might want to come in at some point today. I think these trees are going to have to go just to clear some space for me to work. And I am going to need the spruce wood, so, you know, we'll get to that eventually. Um, yeah, let's find a- let's find a spot that I'm okay pulling dirt from. You know, no, no, no. Listen, chat, I'm going to be so indecisive today. Uh, it's just- it's just part of the building process. Don't worry about it. This is- this is all normal. But we are definitively going to start by removing some trees from the path just to make it easier to, you know, live in this area. Remember, yes, I'm going to make this area worse and less livable than it currently is because I'm going to, like, you know, do do a bunch of stuff with, um, you know, <laughs> shaving the, the ground underneath it off and trapping all these people in their homes. Oh, it's raining. Lovely. But, you know, we can we can start with a little bit of utility. We can give the path a little bit of help, like, as a treat. As a treat. Okay, this tree's gonna have to go, too. It's just barely in the way. Besides, who, who needs trees, like, within the bounds of the village? Like, maybe if I'm feeling fancy and artsy, I might go through and you know, put in some little saplings and, like, put string over top of them so they never grow. So it's like we've got little trees. But for the most part, I just, I would love to clear the, clear the air a little bit around this space. Just make it easier to live here. There we are. Okay. <laughs> There's so many, so many things wrong with this village. <laughs> and I'm not helping. I'm not helping at all. But hey, what's- did these- did the people here expect me to not come in and just completely destroy their previous way of life? Because, listen, if they were expecting me to just leave things as they are, then they are sorely mistaken. Uh, okay, this is also gonna have to be worked with. You know, actually, we could just start by flattening some of this area. 
I'm not really planning on working too much with this part of the village. So I could just like, I don't know, do, do a, a bit of flattening. Just a, a teensy bit. I'm also probably going to need to explore this cave a little bit. Probably cover it up. Make that a bit safer. Unless does it end right here? It ends right here. Okay. Well, I still might cover it up because that's still kind of, <laughs> it's still kind of ugly. It's just like this hole in the middle of the path. Not a huge fan of that one. And it looks like it's getting on towards nighttime, so I gotta sleep. Remember chat, if we prevent mobs from spawning, then I don't need to try to not die to them. Yeah. Okay. Morning. The dawn of the new village has begun. Okay. Yeah, chat again, like getting getting the materials is gonna be my first problem due to me being like, no, I don't I don't wanna do it. this tree's gonna have to go so that those leaves will disappear. I'm sorry, tree, it's not personal, you're just in the way. The, the tree is simply in the way. Like what, what do you expect me to do about that? This tree's gonna have to go too. I'm gonna need so much more spruce than this, but this is a good start. This tree's gonna have to go. It's in my way. It's it, it makes the path a little bit more difficult for me to walk on, me personally. I, the new architect of the village, do not wish for that tree to be there any longer. Ooh, I should, when I have a chance, I should probably go back to my village, A, to pick up all the books I'm going to need to turn this into a librarian village, but B, to start farming some bamboo. Um, I'm going to need a ton of sticks for this project to make the fences with, and I would, and just to purpose, just to preserve supplies, I think it would be much better to have that from bamboo instead of, you know, trees. <laughs> trees are precious, chat. Trees are resources that I'm going to need later. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's- I was worried that that would be a world chasm for a moment, but we're fine. That's not a world chasm. Why am I bad at finding areas I'm okay taking dirt from? Why am I like this? Why is this the way that I am? It's just chat, like, listen, I, I I, just respect Minecraft's generation too much. It's it's a personal problem. That's that's what it is, it's just personal. How do, how do other people who need a massive amounts of dirt do it? Do they just like find a place and go ham? I could flatten this hill. That looks like a place that I could flatten. You know, actually, let's take a look around. Alright, it doesn't look like it's going to be too large, but still provide a decent supply of dirt. It looks like we've got some clear borders that I can use. Okay, okay. I may have found my dirt supply. <laughs> this entire thing. Oh, I'm going to need to cut down so many trees for this, but that's fine. I'll use the wood for something else. Yeah, okay, we use that, then, um, this right here is gonna be the problem is where it connects to the other piece of land, but, hold on. Does this go underneath, or does it just go down? Oh, because if that went underneath, I could make it work, but it, it's fine, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll find some way to texture this so that it's not a weird change. Or maybe I'll just leave it as a weird change. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll get over myself and just give it a give it a solid line, a solid harsh line to deal with. But let's get some dirt. Find a good place to start. I think this is a good place to start. Oh, I miss my under chest. I miss my under chest so much. My under chest and shulker boxes. <laughs> Oh, inventory space is going to become a rare commodity around here. This is fine. This is totally chill. No need to worry about it at all. Starting at the very top of things because I just think it's funny to like, you know, wind around down. <sighs> okay, I'll... I'll make... S I'm gonna have three different types of wood in my inventory. This is fine. Nothing to worry about, we're okay. Yep, totally, totally 100% chill. I should make a diamond shovel. I have enough diamonds for it. I'm just still using this. One. Oh, thanks, you, thanks for following, Vosblev. Hello. 
How you doing today? I am... <laughs> I'm making plans for a big major renovation to a village that I found. I'm gonna do on stilts, like a, um, like one, like an ocean village that has houses that are raised up to prevent, you know, the ocean from washing it away. And okay, there goes the stone shovel. I can probably make an iron one at the moment until I can get the, you know, f the return back to the village to get a, um, <laughs> to get a diamond one. Uh, where's my iron? There it is. <laughs> Imagine not knowing where your iron is. That sounds like me, honestly. Ripped my inventory. This is gonna get... This is gonna get filled up so fast. But hey, I don't need that much dirt right now. Just enough to make the platform underneath the... Um, underneath that main hanging area so I can start to shave off the layers underneath. So hey, you know, we're, we're not going too intense on the dirt collection at the moment. I think that's mainly what I need dirt for. Gosh, iron is iron and spruce wood is going to be the main resources I need. 64, I'd like at least three stacks before we move on to actually like trying to uh, make the platform because I get the feeling I'm going to vastly underestimate the amount of resources that I'm going to need for most of this thing because I just have a tendency to do that. I'll be like, hmm, yeah, like five stacks sounds good enough to fill this area. And then I'm like, oh, five stacks was enough to fill half of the area. That Oh, that's that's different. Just sight lines, being able to tell how much of a material you need just from looking at it. Never heard of her. Never heard of, I don't know, depth perception. Like, what the heck? What the heck even is that? Y'all are y'all are looking at things and uh, seeing how big the volume is just by observing it? Like, I would never, I would never look in three dimensions. I would never have that kind of sight. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you, you... I just found like a key thing about me in this game is that I just consistently struggle with understanding how much value a block has, I guess. Whereas if you look at like this row of dirt that I'm breaking, it's probably like 20 blocks long or something. But if I were to try to make a, a line this long, I'd probably be like, oh, that's maybe like 10 blocks. It's just, it's just a rip. It's, you know, I'm, we're doing our best out here. Okay, I've got my three stacks, but I will finish this row because I am a completionist. Okay, anyways, let's make our way back to the village. <laughs> I love that I just walked, like, a, a huge distance away from the village to find a spot to get dirt from. There's so much dirt around here, but it's about the landscaping. It's about... <laughs> it's about the respect for Minecraft's generation. Minecraft generated all of this for us, for this beautiful natural landscape, and... Me just digging it to tear it apart? Like, oh, how, how dare I? Maybe someday I'll get over that. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll be like, all oh, right, chat, it's time to get some dirt, and then just, like, start digging into the nearest area. I might... Oh, I might go through and flatten the village somewhat, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> this area up here, I don't think I can flatten, because that's going to be the main, like, stilt section, but this is... <laughs> it's just such an uncomfy generation <laughs> we all right yeah i'd love to remove so to get the get the stilts effect that i'm going for i think we're going to remove most of the base layers of no i thought i was on top of this there we are okay i would love to remove like five layers here because i'm going to put in a layer of spruce underneath it and then like get the stilts from there like, it makes more sense to have a big, like, chunky base like this, like Minecraft has, but we're not going for something that looks natural, like someone found a formation built on it. We're looking at people, like, built out over the water, is is the vibes. Oh, I didn't even notice that higher one up there. <sighs> oh, that would probably, that would explain the random dip in the, <laughs> in the weird water dock right there, it just generated up there of course that makes sense thanks minecraft for being a perfectly understandable <laughs> thing so i'm thinking we use this as like the base of where like maybe we retextured the cliff here to make it be like oh yes originally this is where everything stopped <laughs> thank you minecraft really cool yep that's about how it goes but yeah so we remove like five layers here no five is too many on some of these lower sections one two three four yeah, we, we remove like four layers, 
put in some spruce underneath that so it's like going in. I am going to need to like graduate it up to follow the curve of the village itself. I'm doing a lot of talking. Let's get some actual like placing of blocks here. So just making a platform underneath here so that when I start removing things, I will have some ground to stand on. I am going to place a torch. I don't know the light level here. It's probably not zero, but like if it was zero, then I'd be in pretty bad news. So we're just going to automatically start with that. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm placing lots of dirt and it's getting on towards nighttime. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that thing up there. Oh, and we've connected to the path, so that probably means that we've gone the entire distance. It's probably not dark enough for me to be able to sleep. But it's getting to the point where I feel like I should sleep. I'm gonna need so much more dirt than this. <laughs> oh, I said it would happen, and it certainly has. Let's, let's just... Can I place? Thank you. Thank you, Minecraft. Thanks for letting me place there. Can I sleep? Am I am I permitted to sleep at this juncture in time? Yeah. Bop. Okay. Let's gotta gotta stay on track of my food consumption. Cause remember, chat, if you if you consume the food, you're less likely to die. I mean, not that you're like not gonna die, but you're less likely to die. <clears throat> okay, let's... Ugh, I just wasted a dirt block there. Let's get started on the outline of this platform and then start working from there. And yeah, that'll do it. That goes as far as we need it to. This is going to take so much dirt. I just need I just need a platform. I just need somewhere to stand while I shave the earth beneath this massive titan thing. <sighs> it's fine. Can I can I place the dirt, please? That was weird. Huh. Odd. Uh, yeah, let's let's just make the entire block. I could try to like contour it to fit the actual island. Uh, that would save me on blocks for sure, but I think in this case it's just better to go overboard. To just like build an entire massive area for me to walk on in case I need it, rather than, you know, try to skim to save time and then end up, I don't know, being like, oh, I hate walking over this part. This is terrible. <sighs> I've already used like so much of my dirt <laughs> and I still need to fill this thing in and fun fun story about volume is that it or area is that it tends to be much larger than perimeter this is fine we will just begin at the at this section where it's easier to fill it in yep this is fine Man chat, uh, filling in, filling in dirt simulator. I'm sure you've never seen such thrilling gameplay. I've never seen such thrilling game gameplay, and you know I'm clearly an aficionado on this. There are villagers down here, which I don't love. I think they can get back to the village, but I fear that they may not because they don't understand how to pathfind their way back. And that's just something that I personally, as the new caretaker of this village, am going to have to deal with eventually. So. Very cool, Minecraft. Very cool. Very cool and hip and uh, pog and swag. It's good to get some seaweed, though. Like, I'm not using it for anything, but I just like having the resource available. And yeah, it's not like it's a rare resource or anything. But, I don't know. I just, I just like having it. I'm gonna need so much spruce. If I'm using fences as like supports and stuff, that's gonna end. okay. On the on the plus side, it's not going to be as many fences as I needed for Mayor's Paradise railroads, <laughs> because that was uh, that was a much I don't know if I'd say it's a how much larger a project it is, but it's like 
it was definitely more fence intensive than this is. We. Why, why does that struggle with the blocks? Why does that struggle with placing them there? Okay, and I am fresh out of dirt. Which means I need to get more of it. This might be a good time to take a trip back to my house to pick up some supplies, particularly like bookshelves so I can start trapping villagers. Um, as well as a diamond shovel, if I could. I don't have the levels to enchant it too heavily. But maybe I could work something out with that. I'll leave the hay bales here for now, just as a treat. I'll just pick up some dirt, you know? Just just a little bit of dirt. Do I remember my way back to my village? Let's test those coordinates that I had. Let's test the, the coordinates that I was... Um, certain may possibly be the ones for this negative 221 negative 220 i mean let's try it is this okay that's increasing in negatives that's decreasing and that's decreasing okay so we're gonna be going that way and it's raining i mean what a what a way to make our way back to my house i guess what, a, what an experience to have. As long as no mobs start spawning. Oh, mobs are spawning. Mobs are spawning. We are going to sleep. Yep, it's a thunderstorm. It's a thunderstorm. We're shutting that down right about now. Okay. I was like, as long as no mobs start spawning, we'll be good. Mob and I just spotted like a skeleton with an enchanted bow and I went... Nope! We're actually going to just not do that. I was like, ah, oh, walking there. Nope, there's a, there's a skeleton with an enchanted bow. Cool. That's exciting. That's really cool. I bet we can beat him. Let's just get right on our way. And I think we've lost him. That's good. That's good, chat. I, I enjoy losing skeletons. Especially when they're trying to kill me. Like, skeletons who don't try to kill me, I think, are pretty alright, but... Oh, I don't know how many skeletons don't try to kill me in this game. I want to get feather falling so badly. I miss feather falling. Well, heck. This does not seem to be where we're supposed to be. I should have written down the coordinates for that village, too. Man, I'm making all kinds of decisions today. If nothing else, I can make my way back towards spawn and, you know, try to work out which way to go from there. Uh, this is fine. This is chill. This is totally normal. I think I'm basically making my way back to spawn right now. And hoping that I'll be able to remember something. Have some sort of memory of where to go. Man, did I really not write down the coordinates for my house? Because that is such an oversight. That's really not ideal. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure we'll run back into it eventually. Hmm. This would be a really good time to have memorized some landmarks. At the very least, I'm pretty sure I know where the other village is. So, you know, if I need to just start back over, wait. Wait, I might recognize this. I was gonna say, if I, if I need to start over um, back at the other village, I at least kind of know where that one is. Is that like negative 300s? So, you know, we've got that at least. But this is looking a bit familiar, I think. I'm pretty, pretty certain. Pretty positive. Please let me not get lost. <laughs> oh, gotta eat that food. Gotta keep up on the, on the uh, sustenance grind. You know. Mmm, tasty. Cold food that I cooked days ago. If you think about it, like Minecraft food is so unsanitary. Minecraft food will probably kill you. 
I don't think I'd like to eat Minecraft food. Okay. This kind of reminds me- Oh! I'm seeing super trees. I'm seeing super trees. Oh, this is- uh, Yep, this is it. This is near my base. Listen, I'm a sucker for copper. <laughs> yes, I'm making my triumphant way back to my base that I thought I may have lost. But have you considered that there's copper here? Like, I, I don't know, man. I just think you maybe should think about that. <laughs> okay. We're good. I know where- I know where I am. Okay. Well. There's that. I still need to do- Oh, I still need to put a chimney on my house. Hmm. You know, we'll- we'll work with that. We'll figure that out. My copper started rusting. That's good. That's good. We're oxidizing, I guess, would be the better word. Which rusting is oxidizing. I was a Minecraft player. I see ore and I mine it. Yep. That's how it goes. Hello. Hello, dogs. I'm here. I'm back. I know you're worried about me. Okay. I've got some dirt here, so that's good. I'll just pick that up. Um, I mean, after I sort through everything in my inventory. I really need to improve my storage system. I really need to improve my storage system. I should probably just start smelting the copper. Oh gosh, I've broken into the wide wide world of being able to not uh, just live from supply of iron to supply of iron. But I still definitely have not worked this out entirely. I've got enough emeralds for another Prop 4 book, which is very good. I personally enjoy having Prop 4. Uh, let's just drop that. This needs to be composted. Um, what else we got? Should probably stop by the other village. I don't know if I've got the supplies for that. Bamboo! Yes, okay, let's bring the bamboo with us. Um, set up a quick bamboo farm nearby the other village. And we've got some dirt here. I've got books that I can make bookshelves out of. And yeah, I think that might be most of everything that we need. I am going to feed the cows before we go because I'm going to need lots of leather still. And okay, maybe when I get back, I will deal with my storage system. Um, I just don't have the brain space for that right now. Here, let's just get a little more of that bad boy going. And... Time to go feed the cows. Hello, cows. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come feed you. Greetings, cows. I'm here to feed you. Ah, uh, the, the pleasant crackling sound that... Did I feed you guys just before I left and I haven't been in this area long enough for your, like, feeding time to restart? This is fine. No, this, this is chill. This is... This is just fine. Eat the food, cows. Eat the food and then reap the consequences. And yeah, that should do it. Alright, we've got a bit of leather building up there. Okay, are you guys ready to eat now? What... Did I just feed you right before I left somehow? I just... Cows. Okay, well, we'll deal with that when we get back from the village, I guess. I'm off to grab my last Prop 4 book. Oh, I needed to make a diamond shovel while I was here. <clears throat> that would explain some things. That would explain why I felt like I was missing something. It's probably because I was missing something, so you know. <clears throat> There's that. That's good, that's nice. Ba, ba, ba. I don't want to pick up that egg. I just don't like picking up eggs, you know? You throw it and then sometimes it spawns a chicken, then you gotta deal with that chicken. It's kind of obnoxious, really. Okay, so first things first, let's pick up that Prop 4 book. Um, and now I'm going to, <clears throat> and I'm going to need to start picking up a lot of Unbreaking 3. Which I don't have any emeralds for that right now. But that's fine. I do need to start thinking about an iron farm. 
I think I could breed some surplus villagers here and start getting like a basic iron farm going. Hello, friend. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, so I could possibly get a basic iron farm going with some excess villagers here. But it might be actually better. Ooh. Here's the problem, because it would be better to get the basic iron farm near where I'm going to need the iron, you know, because I'm going to be spending a lot of time over in that spruce village. But I want a lot of those villagers to be used for farmer- sorry, for librarians? Maybe I just breed some villagers? Just get them going with that? I could use the bread- <laughs> the wheat that they have there to get me some bread to get some iron. Alternatively, I could just try hard mining the iron I got for tuna. But I'm going to need so much of it because I want to work with iron blocks and... Can you make iron fences? I don't think you can. I think you can just make... Uh, the, um... Like, ch chain link stuff. The bars. Hmm. We'll deal with that eventually. We'll figure that one out. Oh gosh, I also don't super really know how to make an iron farm. Cyborg's been helping me with that whenever I need to do one. So that's a bit unfortunate. I think I got everything I need there. It's just a matter of getting a shovel now. I need one more level to be able to, you know, properly enchant a shovel. So maybe, maybe we'll hope that pulling some things from a furnace will help with that. It's getting dark, I'm gonna need to sleep soon. Gonna need to do the, the sleepy times. The back of my house looks so weird, but I, I want to put a chimney on it. I just don't have the supplies for it yet. Can I sleep? <sighs> hey, son. It's, it's me. I'd love to be able to Sleep. There we go. There we go. Okay. Bop. Let's see if the cows are ready for feeding yet. Hello, cows. Are you ready for feeding? Well, one of you was. Well, we'll just figure that out. Hello, cows. I... Yeah, I just barely fed you guys. I'm not surprised that... You're not ready for feeding. Oh, we've got a little bit here. Hmm. You know what? I will, I will come back to that. I will get started on getting a shovel. And then when we've got a moment, we'll head back and figure that out. Cows crackle. <laughs> they simply crackle, okay? They simply, they simply make the crackling noises. I don't think we can- I don't think we can fault them for making the crackling noises. They're simply cows that crackle. Like, what do you expect them to do? Not crackle? Seems kind of weird. They just crackle. And... Emeralds, I need to drop off these. I still need a little bit. Okay, oh, I've just got a bit more dirt. I like the dirt. Dirt is good. Let's build an iron shovel. Iron shovel? Diamond shovel. Yikes. Imagine talking. I could never. And again, I need one more level. What do oh what do what do people do to get levels? To get XP. I could I could kill something. I could remove things from furnaces. I could trade with villagers. Um Wow. That's quite a bit less than my deal. I just need one level. Let's see if I can find something to kill. Let's see if we can find something to apply the status effect of death on. Okay. This... Oh yeah, I forgot that there's a mine shaft down here. This seems like a really good spot to find something to apply the status effect of death on. Come at me. Not if you're a creeper. Don't don't come at me then. But anything else I'd be okay with. Spider, skeleton, zombie, you name it. 
I'll take it. Pick up. I'm hearing a zombie villager. Ooh, we are in hardcore, so I could trap them and then cure them. Okay, well, let's maybe build a boat just quick. I've never cured a villager before, and I'd like to try it at some point. Alright, we'll just hold that just in case. Okay. One more copper here. Okay, and nothing was immediately visible. Chill. Right, what about back here? Do we have any foes, any fiends, any anything to fight? Not quite. Wow, I am there. Normally, this would be great. Normally, I would be absolutely stoked about not, not having to fight anything. But like, that's the exact wrong thing today. I need I needed one more level. Just one more. Wait, isn't there a zombie down there that picked up like a, a potato or something? And thus has gained immortality? Alright, let's just get some sticks and turn them into torches. I'm hearing noises. I want to fight something. Cool! Coal gets you XP when you mine it. That would have been such a simpler solution than trying to kill something. I cannot believe I forgot that ores drop coal. Ores drop coal, ores drop experience. Wow. Good job, Quimby. Good job. You know, sometimes you gotta give yourself a little bit of self-affirmation. Like, wow. Man, I really sure did uh, do that thing. We're doing, we're doing good today. Okay, let's see if we can find another little vein of coal to, you know, be friends with. Wait, I think there's one down here, if I remember correctly. Hold on. I'm a sucker for copper chat. It's- we, we all just gotta accept it, okay? Yes, there's a little more down here. Excellent, excellent. And I do need coal for things, you know? That's a resource that I do often require. Oh gosh, I'm... Uh, oh, I, I said inventory space would be getting tight around here, but I've just also not been managing it well. I still got like a Prop 4 book in my hand. I mean, to be fair, that was because I was gonna enchant the shovel before I uh, put the book on, and then I just kind of kept it. This is fine. We just need a little bit more XP. Oh, we are so close. Come on, level 30! Level 30, please! Come on! You can do it, Colvane! You can do it! Hey, There we are! I will mine out the rest just because, you know... Resource Gremlin. Resource Goblin. And that's just it. You should bake your copper iron your enchant table just in case you get a bad seed. Oh, do you mean for in case I need to um, reset my seed? Yeah, I've got my blast furnace upstairs that I'm planning on, um, you know, shoving some more copper in. Because I do have quite a bit of copper. It's a pretty block. Gotta keep up on that food consumption. Make sure that I am indeed consuming the food. Because fun fact, food is meant to be consumed. Alright. I think I usually left a block there for, like, safety purposes, but... I don't know, I feel like I've explored far enough that I don't necessarily need that anymore. So, we're chill. We're chill. We're doing good. Yay! Hello, house. I'm back. Have you missed me, house? Right, we've got our... Did I just bring the copper with me? That was poor inventory management. Oh boy. Okay, let's get some copper rolling. Let's just... Let's just start with that. 
and hold on, I've got some coal. Wow, my inventory's a mess. This is fine. This is 100% normal. Look, it's much less of a mess now. Look, I've got like two extra sp uh, spaces in my inventory. And let's also get started on some copper in this other furnace, which will go less fast, but you know, X XP is XP. Okay, let's check the enchanting seed, see if we've got anything good. I should put that boat away. I had it just in case, but I don't I don't need it at the moment. Alright, we've got our lapis. We've got a shovel. Efficiency three, unbreaking it. It's a bad seed. It's a bad seed. No. I don't have time for this. I don't have time and levels and energy for this. <sighs> well. Hmm. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back at level 29. <sighs> wow. How are we doing on furnace? Still not good enough for everything. You know, while we're here, while I'm thinking about it, I'm just gonna... I don't need five, I just need four. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna make... I'm just gonna make some more storage. Nope, not there. That was incorrect, actually. Yay! Oh, wandering trader. What have you got for me, wandering trader? Why are you like shoving yourself in my house? Like, uh, hello? <gasps> Nautilus shells. I don't have that many emeralds on me. I think I literally have five emeralds. But I want, I want to start collecting Nautilus shells, because I do plan on like, <laughs> I, I want to get a, an ocean monument someday, and I'm gonna need conduits, to survive that well. Okay, uh... You know what? Don't go anywhere. I'm going to just run out over to the village, pick some things up. I've got... I've got some coal on me. I can turn coal into... Um, I can turn coal into emeralds and that will also get me the XP that I need, hopefully. Hey, We're thinking outside the box, chat. We're two birds, one stone, am I right? Okay, I just, I, yeah, I'm just sleeping here. It's just simply sleep time. It is, it is time for the sleepings. I turned myself around. <laughs> this is fine. No need to, no need to worry about it. No need to be concerned. We are a-okay. This is, this is normal. This is chill. This is fine. No need to worry about it at all. Avoiding the egg. <laughs> Listen, Chai, I just don't like the eggs. I simply, I look at the eggs and I say, mm -hmm, no thank you. No thanks. No thanks for that. Let's just get a bit more coal out. Hello. I'm gonna need a lot more. Okay. I'm gonna destroy my coal supply. I'm gonna just destroy my coal supply because Ugh. I, I just need enough emeralds for this. Uh, you. Wheat. If I remember to bring wheat with me, I've got so much wheat. I'm more wheat than I currently need. I've got 16 emeralds. That'll be enough for three more. I think you can get five at once. I need five more emeralds. Okay, so I know I'm running really low on iron. But I just I need I needed I needed the emeralds. Well, I'm not running really low on iron. I'm just um I'm just going to need a lot of it in the future. And we're level 30, so you know, we're I'm back. I'm back again, level 30. Let's go. I miss having an XP farm of any sort. 
I, I really want to find like a spawner. I think finding a spawner would be cool. I think finding a spawner would actually be like pretty, pretty pog, pretty cool, pretty exciting. And yes, Wandering Trader is still there. Good, 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 good. Hello, fine sir. May I take all of your Nautilus shells? Yep, see, I told you you can get five at a time. And that's all I want from that guy, so he can go ahead and perish if he wants to. Okay. How are we doing on copper? Let's just... Bop. 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 I have so many things. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, but that's fine. It's a bad seed. Back at level 29. I hate this. I hate this with a burning, fiery passion. Let's go trade a bunch of wheat with that farmer. I've got a lot of wheat here. That should get me some XP. I hate this. I... I was supposed to be building a village today! I was supposed. <laughs> Come on! How did we- how did we get caught in this again? <laughs> Chat, I was supposed to be- I was supposed to be doing cool things with my- with my stilts village. It was supposed to be fun and exciting and cool. Fun and hip and cool and, uh, swag and pog. Oh, my chair is like a little too far away. Hold on, I want to check if Tally wants to come in the room. Tally? Tally? Are you there, puppy girl? Hold on, give me just a sec. I just got- I just got a dirty look. Well, it's been a bit on edge lately. The various, like, dramas and stuff happening at the moment have been, um, not her favorite thing in the world. So, that's awkward. You know, that's- that's exciting. But, yeah, so- oh, by end I picked up the egg. But, yeah, poor puppy. It's just been very difficult lately, because things have been so stressful around here. So, I I understand her just wanting to, like, sit in her familiar, comf uh, comfortable little place. Hello. Okay. I'm level 30 again. Hopefully this time it'll stick. Hopefully this time we'll, we'll have it and it'll be... It'll be good. It's not easy being a puppy? No, it's very hard. It's very hard to be a puppy. Especially when, like, there are so many things happening, and you're simply a dog, and you don't understand why the things are happening, and you wish- like, you think that maybe if the things just stopped happening, it would be much better. But, like, no one else seems to get that, so it's like, like, what the heck? What's up with that? Why- why are you guys like this? Just simply stop. Simply do not. That's what- that's what Puppy says. That's what she thinks about that. I mean, sugarcane's growing nicely, at least. You seem stressed. Have you considered... not? Yeah, that's what Tally says. She says, Why- why are we stressed? If- like, if you could just pet me, then everything would be so much better. It would just be all- all nice if we could just calm down. Here, so I'm just sorting my inventory and chests a little bit. Um, hello, CNR Pro. <laughs> you said outside play a walk around. That is what Tally says. That's that's how she feels about that. She just thinks that maybe we should all stop being so stressed. But hi, CNR. How are you today? Hello. 
I'm I'm caught in an eternal struggle of trying to be level 30 so I can do enchantments and then not and not being level 30. Uh, let's give that a few more coal. Actually, I should probably have just given that a block, but that's fine. That's chill. That's understandable. Ba -ba -da -ba. So I'm just shining everything organic into one chest because I don't know why not. See, chat, we're we're starting out early with the chest organization this time, so that you know when we get to the future, it's not gonna be like that, or it's not gonna be so so messy and upsetting. Okay, we're good. All right, let's try this again. I mean, breaking, unbreaking three is not bad. I, I, I kind of want efficiency though. Because I have an unbreaking villager, but I don't have an efficiency villager. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it. We're... It, it's a bad seed chat. It's a, we're doing this again. We're we're doing this. What? Hello. Hello, feather falling four. That's um. Huh. You know that's it. We're I'm I'm calling my losses. I I just you know we're we're just enchanting. Yep. I've I've been trying to do things. I I've used the levels. I've used them all up. But hey, got prop four and feather falling. Uh, prop four and feather falling four now. So, you know that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. Is it nighttime? It's not nighttime. Okay, well, uh, the enchanting the shovel was a bust. That did not end up working out, but you know, it's oh, th that's okay. That's fine. I've pretty much got what I needed from here. I have I have a better shovel. I have um, <laughs> I've got a better shovel. I have some dirt. I've got some books to make. Uh, the t -t 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 -t, what are they called? Bookshelves? No, lecterns. I can make lecterns. I think it's probably time to head back over to the floating village. I'm pretty sure it's this way. I'm pretty sure we just travel this direction. But how are you doing, CNR? Um, I hope things are going well for you. How are you? Uh, are you enjoying the new 118 update? I am. I'm I'm pretty much enjoying it, but I do have to say it has it causes quite a bit of lag sometimes. You know? Just just some struggles there. Listen, chat. Yes, I have a problem. No, we're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna leave that be. That's just gonna be totally fine and normal and okay. I've got Feather Falling 4 now. I cannot believe that I just like shoved a random book in there and got Feather Falling 4. That is... That's, that's a chef's kiss moment. Which means I don't need to get a villager with, felling, with Feather Falling 4. So that's good. Can I sleep, please? Can I... Please. I'd like some sleep. Excuse me. There we are. There we are. I've just realized that now that I have full prop four, I should probably start considering going to the nether. Because that seems like a good thing to do, is go to the nether. Huh. Huh. We can say that maybe going to the nether would be very stressful. Okay, 
music is going on. I was like, what? what's going on with the music? Um, hmm. But admittedly, it could be nice to set up, like, some nether gateways between my, like, primary home base and then, like, the other village, because doing a railroad also would be fun, but this is just such a far distance that, you know, that would be a, that would be a big commitment. Hmm. And the travel time wouldn't be great, whereas I could simply make a railroad in the nether instead and have that be pretty fast. Because it's less distance there. Because, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be a bit of... A bit of distance. I think I need to go this way more. Because this is a lot. This is a, this is a long way. Why are the villages so spread apart? Again, I feel like Mayor's Paradise villages are so close together. Is it just desert villages that are that close usually? I just... Huh. I don't understand it. That's weird. That's weird, but fine. Okay. Sure. Not to worry about that. I'm pretty sure I haven't lost the other village. It was like this way, and then you go this way a little bit, right? Where am I? Hmm. I think I'm too far this way. I think I need to go this direction more. Do I have a sense of direction? Wait. Hang on. Was what just happened a sense of direction? Huh. That's interesting. That's pretty intriguing. Well. <laughs> Hello. That's... Huh. Chat, I might have a sense of direction. Breaking news. Like, legitimately breaking news. It's breaking me a little bit. Because I looked at that and I said, hmm, I think we're too far this direction. Weird. Weird. Well, anyways, let's uh, get started on filling this. Ooh, I should, I should set up my bamboo. Because I'm going to need lots of sticks. Listen, this is, this is going to be a temporary installation. This is not going to be permanent. But you might not you might not want to stay there for long. You might you might not want to be in that spot. Alright, this is a temporary installation. It's not gonna stick around for very long. Bamboo does not go in this village type, but again, it's for the sticks. It's about having the sticks. Bro, you were... Again, it's probably like a good thing that I'm taking over in this village because a lot of the a lot of the villagers here don't seem to be too great at this whole life thing. Yeah. That's so weird. I don't know why it struggles with placing next to the path. Huh. Interesting. Lots of wood. Got, got some dirt. Got lots of dirt. What's going on with the music? Are we doing alright? It's just got like weirdly long pauses between tracks. I don't know. Strange. Strange, but that's alright. I'm going to need even more dirt than this, but we're doing alright. We're doing okay. The dirt that I brought with me will get me, you know, some distance along. And then uh, I've got a diamond shovel so I can go back to dismantling that, like, dirt hill that I found. So, we're doing alright. We're doing okay. Just filling things in, you know. 
just just casual just filling things in gonna need to place more torches at some point oh and what's my light level <laughs> seven nothing spawning on that i love 118 mob generation i just i really appreciate it well, i'm gonna have to be careful in this diamond shuffle though <laughs> it's gotten no enchantments whatsoever not even like unbreaking or anything I just need to get like a villager or someone who has um, efficiency so I can start adding it to things <sighs> seaweed it do be like that though just that very the very topmost piece sometimes ba -ba -ba -ba. Laying dirt on the area so I can dismantle the lower section. And I'm out of dirt. Okay, let's leave a torch just for good luck. I mean, I could start by... I want this soul to be filled in first. Okay, well, it's back to the... Back to the digging board. Back to the board of digging. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna travel this way quite a bit. Gotta keep this path well maintained. Unmaintained paths is one of my pet peeves in Minecraft. I just... I just don't like how it looks with random dirt sections in the middle of it. But I gotta be careful with my shovel! That shovel's not gonna last forever. I mean, it, it could if I took proper care of it. Ooh, hello. I do not have the tools to go that deep. Yay, oxygen. It's about the oxygen chat. Also about the maintaining my hunger bar. Now that I've got like diamond stuff, I feel like I'm I'm really adapting to this whole hardcore thing. I'm probably I'm still probably going to like die humiliatingly. It's going to be like Everyone's going to be like, ooh, that was like the worst possible death you could have. And I'd be like, yeah, that was the worst possible death I could have. Like, don't get me wrong. I have no illusions about me being like good at this or whatever. But I'm, I'm adjusting, you know, figuring out how to, how to do the things, which actions to take. Which is going to make it all the more tragic when I die embarrassingly. Because, I mean, straight up fact, I'm going to die someday. Maybe this world lasts, like, a month. Maybe this world lasts a few years. But, like, either way, someday it's going to be gone. It's just the nature of, I don't know, things with a finite ending. Chat watches? Oh, gosh. So, um, I, I tend to get very involved with, like, artsy kind of projects things. And... Just to give you guys full warning, I could definitely see myself um, just like spending years on a hardcore world or something and then intentionally dying to make a point about the permanence of life. Which actually, hmm, thinking, ooh, now that I think that again, I could also see myself intending to do that and then getting way too emotionally attached to it and not being able to go through with the project. But just just warning you i'm dangerous i'm artsy that means that that means that um i'm prone to do unexpected things i'm prone to doing things that you know may may be really weird and not make a lot of sense but it's in the name of art you've had warning i've warned you now i'd like three stacks of dirt that's what we're currently aiming for three whole stacks that's fine. And even if I'd fallen a bit further, I have feather falling for. Day 365. Tomorrow I delete my hardcore world. Day 366. Tomorrow I delete my hardcore world. Day 875. Tomorrow I delete my hardcore world. I just, uh... It's very tricky sometimes. It's very tricky when you get emotionally involved to some in something and then... Uh, and then you tell yourself you're gonna get rid of it, but then you actually don't because you're actually like so soft Let me sleep 
There we go. I am sleeped. Wait, I'm gonna drink some water. Good water. All right. <sighs> anyway. Let's just clear the room a little bit. And then resume our dirt collection. And over here is my dirt collection. That's what would happen with me. Yeah, I just... Sometimes you just get emotionally invested in things. And three stacks, that's probably good enough to go back with. I don't know if it'll actually complete the project, but... Eh, good enough to go back for. This is going to be like a... Small, first, large, major build. Like, this isn't going to be... I'm hoping to do much larger things eventually, like something with um, like a fortress or an ocean monument, you know, some, some large structure sort of thing. But just like starting with making a cool little village is the first step. I really need to get started on getting all the iron for this though. Because, hmm, hmm, this is going to be a lot of, a lot of iron. me so much iron i want like it's I, I want a like switchback staircase made with iron blocks that's gonna be rough oh hi nikki hello good to see you how are you i'm uh i got hit with a burst of inspiration yesterday and have committed to my first semi-major project in this hardcore world i am making this floating village um, be a village on stilts. Like, very, very seaside sort of vibes. You know, like, village, um, no, not poppies, I want dirt. You know, like, those houses that they're on stilts prevent, um, like, the ocean from being able to sweep them away? That's, that's what we're going for. So I'm currently laying down a dirt platform so that I can shave the undersides of this, so then I can put, like, spruce planks underneath it to make it look like it's being held up by the planks. And we've just immediately run into the issue of me <laughs> constantly underestimating how many- how much of something I'll need. It's fine. It's- it, I'll just go back and forth for lots of dirt constantly. Yeah, no- no worries at all. <laughs> I mean, this- this last stack is going to take me a considerable distance. Be gone, kelp! Be gone from this mortal plane. Well, my bamboo's going well. The bamboo is not permanent. It's just because I'm going to need a lot of sticks for the fences. I'm going to use as this like as the stilts. It'll be it'll be a whole thing. A whole entire thing. I know that sometimes it seems like it's not going to be a whole entire thing. I can promise but I can promise you that in this case it certainly is going to be a whole entire thing. Okay, I'm leaving some torches because force of habit. Maybe someday I'll get out of that, but not right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen times six. Um seventy-eight. So I need about a, st a stack and 14 more. That's chill, I can get that. A stack and 14 more. That's not too bad. How you been today, Nikki? I know that you said on Discord that you were not having a good time earlier, like, earlier today, and I'm very sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that it was, you know, sad. Wearing a really big shirt and has long sleeves and I'm just really comfortable. You know, that is probably the ideal way to do it. Honestly, just big shirt, big sleeves. There's just something so comforting about being, like, entirely swallowed by fabric sometimes. Just start crying for no reason. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. I... Like, I, I don't know what would cause that. That's not, like, something I've studied at all, but, like... Like, are you, are you okay? I'm so confused. Oof. I mean, it's possible that you've been, like, having an emotional build-up from, I don't know, things or like life events or whatever and it just, I don't know, like gotten to be 
too much possibly like yeah like why is who knows who knows why that's again really really very unfortunate like oh no haha <laughs> don't cry don't cry you're you're so absolutely precious haha <laughs> don't cry but crying is actually good and healthy a lot of times a lot of stress maybe yeah i mean sometimes like sometimes when you're just like feeling lots of emotions and things like stress and stuff that just like builds up until it has to release somehow like i've had moments where i've been crying and i'm not even necessarily like sad or anything it's just like i needed some way to relieve the stress that i was under and crying was just one of the things that happened no experts sometimes emotions happen with us realizing them oh yeah yeah i i had a moment one time where i'd like uh like messed something up at work and had to like scramble to fix it and it's like i wasn't and like at, at the end of everything i just like started crying and my boss is like oh no and it was like not that i was feeling like sad really or that like anything was wrong it was just that i'd been feeling like so much stress and pressure over the past like hour that i just it, it just tears happened I've sometimes cried while laughing. Interesting. I think that one could just be like the that a lot of the like muscle responses and things have been are are similar, but I don't know. <laughs> Again, that's not something that I'm at all an expert in or know anything about. But yeah. I mean sometimes you just start crying. And that's not a bad that's not necessarily like a bad thing because crying is your body's way of dealing with things oftentimes all right let's okay it's raining is this a thunderstorm or just regular rain okay doesn't seem to be a thunderstorm if it was a thunderstorm, that would have been bad. I don't know why, though. I mean, really, things do just sort of happen sometimes, and, and and there's not a lot you could do about that. Sometimes I feel like bodies experience intense emotions and then go, well, I guess I'll cry <laughs> when the emotions aren't sad. Yeah. I mean, again, it's just, it's a, a response that your body has. It's like, thing happens. Oh, guess it's time for tears now, I guess. It's like shrugs, guess I'll cry. I mean, crying is like really good for your brain chemicals. It just kind of like resets a lot of things. That's so that's what like the the empty feeling after a big long cry is, is that your brain has just kind of like reset itself and is like, well, I, I don't really have a lot going on at the moment. Just placing torches for paranoia's sake. All right, let's get started. I can't believe I didn't notice that there was copper here. <laughs> I am a sucker for copper. Okay, well, let's begin removing this bottom layer. So the plan is to remove some of the layers of the ground here um, and then replace it with wooden planks so that it gives the illusion that like the villagers have built the space out over the ocean. So we're just gonna be taking out the stone here. <laughs> I love that I've started doing a, a large build project before I've even like gone to the nether, beaten the game, anything. Just, I just really said, well, I guess I'll build. And I mean, I, I just like building. I just like creating things and doing stuff. It's my favorite part of Minecraft. It's just building things. I do desperately miss my shulker boxes right now though just desperately miss my shulker boxes. Here, let's finish this off. I'm trying to decide how far I'm going to take the wooden planks, so that's why I'm a bit hesitant to, I don't know, keep going here. Hold on. Um, let's take a quick look. You know, let's probably just take it back to here. All the way back to there. It's 
So let's just let's just clear a lot of this stuff. Oh, that's a lot of gravel. Ooh, if this goes, I don't think it does go deep enough, but it goes if it goes like super deep, I'd want to turn that into like a secret spot, but I don't think it does go that deep. Alright. Sleep times. It's time for the sleepings. I wish Minecraft had like aesthetic raincoats. Like, I don't know, it doesn't have to be useful or anything. I just aesthetic raincoats. Said I'd have to like change my skin if I wanted a raincoat and I mean who's got the time and energy for that for putting on a raincoat skin like come on if I were really committed I'd do it yeah okay so let's use this as the demarcation of uh like where where the planks are gonna begin um my body's like, okay, I guess I'm gonna cry. Right, I'm gonna just feel tired. Yeah, bodies really just kinda, they just kinda react sometimes. They just go, hmm. Welp, there's that, I guess. And then you're like, wait, no, why? Your body's like, oh, no, no. It just felt like a good reaction. <laughs> felt like a good thing to do. And I'm like, no. Please, no. Please, no, why? Bodies really be like, well, I guess I'll just like respond to the stimulus around me. Break, stone, break. Be gone from this mortal plane. The flow chart goes, feeling anything, either sleep or cry, you pick. JK, I'll pick. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Why is that so accurate? Why is it just like, well, you're feeling emotions. I guess it's time to A, sleep, B, cry. No, you don't get a choice. Feels emotions. Well, time for a reaction, I guess. Emotions are like so hard to have though. Like they're a natural normal part of our lives, but they're just, they're just so tricky to have sometimes. Our human isn't doing anything, so we will do something for them. <laughs> oh gosh, that reminds me of, um, a thing I saw the other day that was like, if you don't resonate with the phrase self-care, call it like equipment maintenance. And then there was, and then like they posted with it a sign that was like, if you do not schedule time for maintenance, your equipment will schedule it for you. And it's like, wow, that's, that's like a decent way to think about like taking care of yourself is if you don't, if, if you don't do something to like alleviate your stress or whatever, your body's going to go, hey, Hey, you. Hey there. I, mean, I notice that you are feeling some things and yet you have not actually done anything about that. So you're gonna, you're gonna like have a, have a crying break now. It's like, what? I don't, I don't have time for this. I've, I've got like other things to do and your body's like, ooh, well maybe you should have thought of that, uh, thought about that before you skipped like all your maintenance checks. So sorry, we're gonna, we're just gonna shut down for a little bit. Nothing personal. I miss my shulker boxes. I can't wait till I get my shulker boxes back, but that means I'd have to go to the end, which I don't want to do yet. That means I'd have to go to the nether, which I don't want to do yet. <sighs> which is quite frankly a bit ridiculous because I can't think of anything that I could do to make it more safe to go to the nether. I mean, I guess I could like pick up some more powder snow, I guess. I've got like one bucket of it, and but maybe I could pick up a second like emergency powder snow bucket. <sighs> but really, I've got like I've got full pro armor. I've got like a feather falling for. That's. <laughs> I'm probably pretty much equipped to go. It's just the mental block at this point. Water. I don't want to fill in this space here because I do want to remember where the like actual bank is. Um, I'm gonna make myself some chests to start holding materials. And I will use this useless birch wood to do it. Because it ends up with chests just the same. And yes, I'm just going to put it in the middle of this temporary platform. Why would I not do that? Haha. <laughs> That's silly. Not 
but putting putting supplies in a tent and a thing that's supposed to be temporary that's not gonna cause problems for me later at all my body okay you can choose these feelings cry happy comfortable me i'll choose sleeping weird nightmares to tell because why not i mean that sounds like that sounds like a choice i guess that sounds like a decision that could be made you know you could be like hmm i think i think we'll just go with yeah like weird, weird nightmares and stuff that sounds chill yeah you've told us some of your dreams before and they do just sound absolutely wild that's a cat i don't have any fish but i could have fish if i jumped into the water and found a found some fish to give to that cat come on where's some cod give me some cod 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 gotta get the cod i forgot to type etc in my body's line ah, i see whoop watch out for drowning i don't have respiration Come on. I just need, like... I, I just need your death. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Got him. Got him. Okay, I've got four fish. Oh, is the cat gone? No, where did the cat go? It was right there. Wait, no, it's by the chest. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he told me two of the dreams. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. You're surrounded by water. Come on. <gasps> Hello. Hello, friend. Boop. I love them. You murdered the whole family? I did, yeah. I am a fish family murderer. That's what I do. Right, this cat's gonna walk around with me. This will be my building friend. This will be my friend for building things. So pretty, yeah, such a pretty little kitty. Such a such a sweet kitty, kitty, kitty cat. I, I do like the kitties. I can't. Oh, I need to. I've been working on a um, librarian, tried to, you know, to like level them up and stuff, but. I, I need to work harder because I gotta get name tags for my aminals. Are you gonna name them? Um, I don't know. I do have a bit of a tradition of just naming the first cat that I get in a Minecraft world just like plain kitty. Just being like, like, hey kitty. Oh, hello, you're on top of the chest. That's so very good. Such a very tall kitty cat. Never before has anyone experienced such a tall kitty. So very, so very height. Just look at this. Look at this tall little kitty, kitty, kitty. What, what should I name you? Um, I can name the cat Coco. I know the the thing I'm getting is it just like with the like white underbelly and the, like the brown overcoat. Goldie, maybe they do have gold eyes. I just. S'more. This is gonna be s'more. Their eyes are golden, yeah. But this is gonna be s'more, cause we've got we've got like the like marshmallow and like chocolate graham cracker kind of stuff. And yeah. This is this is s'more. This is my kitty s'more. I love them so much. Little little kisses. Mwah. What is with the human instinct to give little kisses to animals? Humans really just look at animals and go, mm, yes, you look like you want little kisses. But yes, hello, S'more. S'more is a very good kitty. S'more is very good at helping. See, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna just be like building stuff here and S'more is gonna be helping out. As is the, as is the usual behavior for very good kitties. Very good kitties are very good at helping. It is simply a fact of life that kitties assist with things. My my dog loves to help me with things. She especially likes helping to take out the trash um, because she just kind of like stays inside and watches me take out the trash. Oh, I'm sorry, S'more. And then when I come back in, she gets a treat. <laughs> Originally, it was intended to teach her not to like run away when um, when the garbage is taken out. 
but now she's convinced that anytime anyone like comes back in the door from taking anything outside, she deserves a treat. And, you know, it's probably not the greatest behavior to reinforce, but that's fine. Let's just... Okay, I do want to remove this layer here. In fact... Ooh, okay. I'm trying to decide how far up I want to go. Hmm. Do we want to keep, like, the kind of variation there? Or bring it all up to one height? These are questions, for sure. These are definitely some questions to have. Whenever you look at anything adorable, I see that starling, so I started seeing it too. I mean, they're just... It's just a little darling kitty cat. Like, look. Look at Smore just... Oh, just sleeping on the bed with me. Very, very good kitties. Yeah, they're just... <laughs> it's one of those... Um, saying things like darling and like precious and stuff. It's one of those things I just picked up somewhere. And I'm not certain, like, what it is. Like... <laughs> Gosh, I do I do remember um one time a few years ago thinking like oh my gosh why would like why would anyone ever like use like pet names or anything? That's kinda weird. Like like does anyone ever actually like use pet names to call people things? And then I realized that I'm always just like darling, precious, sweetie, honey, dearest. <laughs> and I'm like, huh. Gotta go by Oh bye Nikki. Thanks for stopping in. Good to see you. Bye. I will just be here removing the uh, area underneath here. I've got like a stack and a half of spruce on me that can be turned into spruce planks. I don't think that is going to be enough to cover the underside of the area. So I'm going to have to start putting in some plans for how to uh, do that. Maybe I'll just like start with one section today just like yeah maybe we'll do we'll do a trial section i think is what i want to do at the moment i just want to like get this front little bit ready to put in like the planks and stuff um so maybe let's maybe let's do a a little focus session on just like this front little part all right and let's make a little little cobblestone area here to walk on just that I can you know get what I need to do done okay here I gotta I gotta go up top for this I think just to take a look because over on this side hmm that, oh wait that mm, that might be as far as we need to take it up right there just maybe here's more let's go check it out let's see what we've got okay it's like right here we've been working with okay so this end bit this goes up quite a bit hmm Oh, that's where we're working with. Okay, okay. I was like, where are we? We're right here. We're right here. Okay, so this... This right here, it does go up another layer there. I do want to preserve, like, this little... thing going on there. Hmm. One, two, three, maybe? Maybe we have it go up in intervals, I think, would be the plan there. Because there's, there's a whole house on that layer that I want to be careful with. Hmm. Maybe on this one we do it here, and then here we start taking it a step up. So I think what we're going to do, chat, is we're just going to make a ton of planks. And then just start placing them along this line. I 
All right, so that's going to be like our, our first little bit. But then on this next one up here, it's going to go up to that level. So let's clear out the dirt there. I might go up top and fix that in a sec. Sorry. Oh, okay. I was worried I was running into s'more there. But I think s'more's all right. It might also be nice to have scaffolding, but I definitely do not have the string for that. Pop. Just lots of lots of planks. Lots of planks being placed right here. Yeah, and I'll go up and add a dirt there to fix it. Yeah, okay. And that's where we're starting to get the, like, suspended look of the thing. So we're going to have this, and then it's going to take another step up around here. And then, you know, like, obviously a few steps up right over there. But, yeah. Okay, okay, the intersection is starting to take a little bit of shape. That's good, we love a little bit of shape. Let's get some dirt in here. Ooh. Oh, this is actually very tricky. Hmm. Okay, because... Huh. If I'm removing that layer. Um. Dang it, we might just. We might leave it at this layer for a little bit. For like just this next part. Well, okay. Time to. Time to undo all that. Let's fix it up. Fix it up. Do it bad or do it right. Let's just... <laughs> just go back and place in some things. Okay. Yeah, and now we're, we're gonna have planks here on this level. Be careful, s'mores. I know you don't take uh, fall damage, but just be a bit cautious, okay, sweetheart? Okay. Okay, yeah, let's let's run it with that for this for the time being. Just, you know, set that up right there. I wanna get a bit more of a distance view. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's kick it up. Right around here, I think, is going to be the plan. We're going to go like that and then step it up to there. And then, you know, we've got all that, obviously. That's going to be a mess to... That's going to be a mess to figure out, but that's fine. Let's just focus on getting this section cleared out for this next little bit. And yeah, let's lay some cobble for this. Remember, chat, very temporary. Very temporary stuff just so I can work here. I just work here, chat. I just work here. I promise. I'm, I'm definitely not like the, the architectural mastermind behind this. Haha, <laughs> no, I just work here. Okay. Let's get a few more layers. Why was I using an axe on stone? That's that's just objectively not a good idea. Axes in stone don't really vibe well. Okay, this section out here... We're gonna have to work with a little differently. Because this raises up a bit higher than the earlier sections. Hmm. I'm having thoughts. 
I'm having thoughts and feelings and, in fact, some considerations. Oh, hi, S'more. Okay, maybe we keep it a bit lower on this side for a bit. But then, like, about here we kick it up. Because this section is just so much beefier than the other section. And I don't want to deal with that too much. Let's, let's place this line and then take a look at some different sides. Oh, oh, we are getting, we are getting a word from our sponsors. All right, so Mr. Milk has redeemed and now we're from our sponsors, which means that uh, we're going to take a quick short break to, to fulfill the algorithm. Somebody say deal. Oh, it's a, it's a deal. All right. So we're going to go for a quick 90 second ad break and we're just use the time to like stand up, stretch, drink some water, do something. I'm not going to be doing anything important. Just take a second, take a break. Okay, I'll see you in about 90 seconds. Hey, here we are. I'm gonna drink some water. Some water. It's about the water, chat. It's about the water, okay. Time to stand up. Ooh, good times with that. And do a little bit of a stretch. Wow, okay. Good stretch. I'm getting a call from a number I don't know, which means I'm not going to answer it because I feel weird about that. Sorry, that's my neck. It just does that sometimes. Okay. Mm Good stretch. Okay. It's time to eat a jelly bean. What kind of jelly bean should I eat? Let's go. Let's go with a red jelly bean. I don't eat too many of those these days. It's a good red jelly bean. Yeah, I can definitely taste the red. I think of that flavor, and that does very clearly say red to me. That does bring those good red vibes. You love to see it. You love to see it. Those are that's a good red. All right, we've got about um, a few more seconds till we're back, and I think we should be done. All right, and we're here again. Hello chat. It, it is me, Quimby. I am I'm doing the things. Hot take. Hot take. Let's let's increase at the moment that there's stone. Cuz that seems to indicate that the floating island itself is you know, going a bit, going a bit up. So let's just whoop, throw some things in there. It's almost nighttime. Bamboo is going good. And yeah, I think we might stick with that plan is to just stop when we hit dirt. And sleepy times. It is time for the sleeps chat. It's time for those sleepy hours. Okay. Oh, oh, S'more brought me a feather. I love it, S'more. Thank you. That's, that's so good. How good of S'more to bring me a feather. Okay, let's just... Get a bit more of a platform to work with because I've got just like these last two spots. There we go. And okay. Yeah, I'm liking this <clears throat> stop at dirt kind of philosophy. This is the, oh gosh, this is the part where I haven't been um, putting in platforms and stuff and that is definitely going to come back to bite me a little bit here. I could just put in a quick cobble uh, platform. That might be for the best. 
Especially if I'm going to start increasing the height. I might need to like put in a second layer to start building up to it. Let's get our planks in here on the dirt levels because that seems to work pretty well. Bop, bop, and bop. And now, yeah, okay. Let's just... Let's just take the L and lay that out. Ah, I'm in water. Help, girl, I'm in water. Okay. And let's just... <laughs> this is gonna be a wonky little under-platform thing. I'm so glad it's temporary. <laughs> because it is temporary. It's not sticking around. If there's one thing you can be sure of, it's that this is not sticking around. Bop, 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 bop. I did that on the wrong parallel, that's fine. I was just hearing noises, and I'm like, what is that? And it's probably just squids. Probably just the squids making the noises. Squids do tend to make the noises. Or alternatively, it's the farmer up above. That would also make sense. Hello. Can I place, please? No, not there. There, that's what I want. Okay, and we gotta go up even another layer here. All right. <clears throat> All right, I'm here for it. Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Let's experiment with that. I am going to need to work with that eventually. Okay. Remember, chat, it's for the it's for the artistry. It's for making something cool. Okay. And yeah, let's just place what we can there. Um I'm not expecting to get a ton of this done today cuz or maybe today, but like not at this very moment because I just don't have the spruce for it. Alright, let's get this figured out. Okay. Whew, this is a complex area. I'm gonna have to put stilts on this entire thing. That's chill. That's fine. That's normal. But... Okay, let's just... Again, getting rid of this thing is going to be a beast. Let's just take it out a bit. I and let's take it up a layer. Eight. Okay. Can I remember where all that was? Yeah, let's just cover everything that's dirt with. Yeah, let's just Let's just fall down. I think falling down seems like a great opportunity at this moment. Yeah, this is a complex area to work with. But that's chill. That's fine. That's normal. I might decide to hate it later out and just smooth the entire thing out, but for now we're just gonna do this. Again, chat two steps forward, one step back. That's our motto. Falling down, that's my other motto. Not even like a oh, if you fall down, just get back up. No, if just just fall down. Simply fall down, and that's all I have to say about that. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. All right. That'll take care of that section, mostly. Alright. Here we go. This music is feeling just a teensy bit dramatic. I mean, the general vibe is still alright, but I'm gonna be honest, some parts of it I'm like, whoa, I didn't know we were that intense. Okay. 
I should probably just start removing large swaths of stone. Yeah, chat, let's just let's just remove this entire stone layer because it looks like the rest of this thing isn't going to reveal any dirt for us. So let's just let's just focus in. Let's simplify the task from the more complex stuff to just removing sections. That I can do. I can I can dig a layer of stone. I can for sure dig a layer of stone. Let's let's just think about all that time I spent like in the lab digging so many layers of stone. Well, gotta keep up on the food consumption. It's about the food consumption chat. It is about the consumption of the food. Yay! So while we're just while we're just vibing, um, so chat, I um uh, I watched a movie the other day, um, it's called Tick Tick Boom, and it's about um, gosh, why am I bad at names? The guy who wrote Rent, uh, and it was directed by Lin Man Manuel Miranda, and like, it was just, honestly, chat, it was gorgeous. <laughs> It's like Tick Tick Boom was what Dear Evan Dear Evan Hansen wanted to be. And I just it was actually like the the shot composition, the like why 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 would you call me a person who I don't know? Okay, the shot composition was gorgeous, the way that the music was integrated into like the storyline and the set was gorgeous. It's like this is these are pieces that were traditionally done in a one man show kind of format that then became like just amazing it, <laughs> that's not a really good adjective for it it's pieces that were supposed to originally be done as a one-man show that got taken and turned into just an incredible piece of artistry just absolutely beautiful my one of my favorite scenes um the song is called therapy and it's about um it's about the the guy, the writer, like having a conversation with his girlfriend where she's um, she's considering taking a job in like an area away from New York City as like a dance instructor and like wants him to like move out there with her. But either that or like wants him to say like don't go. I haven't seen the movie show by Dora the, the therapy song. It's beautiful. Just the uh, the contrast between like. The, the song and what's happening that with like the darkness and like the raw emotion of the rest of the scene and it's just like we we see the um we see like the performance and they're like singing and there's like the I felt badly about you feeling badly about me which I love um it's a, it's a beautiful piece of music but then also just like her being like, what happens if like the workshop happens and nothing changes? There's like no big sponsor giving you a check. There's no like, what if you're just still waiting tables at this restaurant and like it's, and all this has been for nothing. Like, why can't we just focus on like other things right now? And it's like, oof. And oh, chat the, the like, piece de resistance the the thing that makes it like absolutely gorgeous is you know when he's got the one like where he's like obviously i don't want to go and she's like you like well this is the first time you've said that and they like it seems like it's gonna be okay for a moment like they're made up and then you just like see that little twitch of his fingers and it's so subtle that's what i love about it is oftentimes on a film if you feel like you need to like exaggerate things to make it obvious what's happening to make it like clear that something's going on but just that little, little tiny twitch of the fingers. Not even really noticeable if you're not, like, looking at it. And the, the shot is beautifully composed to make it obvious to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, S'more. Like, the shot is beautifully composed to allow you to see it. Just, like, the focus on his hand. Like, from an outside perspective, if you... If that shot was not built the way it was, then you wouldn't have even seen it. And, like, it's surprising that... The character even felt it that she like was aware of that little like 
the little tiny finger twitch. And uh, just the like, are you tur planning on how, are you thinking about how you can turn this into a song? And he's like, no, 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 but like, oh gosh, chat, there's a, it just goes back to some of the themes of the movie about like artistry and how like artistic people can be where it's like his his medium is writing songs and he if he's feeling emotions sometimes he'll process them by like writing songs about it and whereas like it comes off as him being like hmm i can use this i can like use this emotion and this moment to write the song that i've been trying to write all week but it's like you can also just tell that that's not what he's thinking at all like from the outside it definitely sort of feels like that but like if you understand the way his mind works the way that he like processes the world him writing a song is him feeling this moment and it's like oh and, and it's just like so sad and like the the miscommunications about the miscommunications i can talk about that and how it's just like not working it's expertly done just absolutely gorgeous i do kind of wish i had scaffolding here like listen i usually hate scaffolding but this is also kind of a lot this is also you know this this whole thing there's there's kind of a lot going on with it um uh, and also the the song 3090 i absolutely adore it's like the opener of the show um you know like introducing us to like all the things and like the main the main theme of 3090 is like like the clock is ticking it's it's not just like you're not just like 30 years old it's like is this 30 out of 90 years that i can be alive or am i like am i going to not do anything great and honestly chat that's like such a raw emotion because i like i too have had moments where it's like am i going to be able to ever like actually do something uh, is this <laughs> legacy what is a legacy um i don't know it's just it captures an emotion that i felt i, I feel like a lot of people have felt even not like sp specifically artist people but just like many many people in general have felt those sorts of emotions um about like am i going to be able to accomplish something uh i'm looking at people who have like done the things that i want to do and like they did it at like so much of a younger age with like so much more success and like less work and stuff like um like just think of how like every pianist kind of has to feel measuring up against someone like mozart perhaps like the guy like wrote his first symphony at like two years old he listened to a song once and then like an entire symphonic piece and then transposed it like there are people in this world who do so many like incredible amazing things and it's very easy to feel insignificant in the face of that like like oh man this thing that i'm trying to accomplish this other person did it younger did it better did it faster did it uh more artistically it's like you gotta find the balance between like taking inspiration from those people and like maybe admiring them but also like being okay with yourself too and that's just very tricky and i like how tick tick poom didn't really offer any obvious answers about that it didn't be like oh yes do this thing and then it'll be okay it's just like sometimes you just gotta do it and you're probably not going to succeed and you're probably not going to like do it in the same like speed or fashion as your idols but I, I mean i adore the moment in the movie when he's like talking with his agent and it's like no one's taken his show they're like oh I, i'm getting all kinds of rave reviews everyone says like i want to see what that guy does next and he's like but no one's like take it and she's like writers at mary shelley oh yeah for sure mary shelley is oh gosh she is pretty steep to compete against <laughs> But it's like, what, like, what do you do after facing something like not having your show picked up? Something like, you know, not succeeding in this thing that you've been trying super hard on. It's just you move on to the next one. You start writing the next piece and you 
figure out what you're gonna do next. And I don't, that moment was just like so, so powerful to me because yes, we would obviously love for people to be able to like do things on the first try and figure it out and be successful and do do the things but like straight up sometimes it just doesn't happen and you gotta do the next one just keep working at it and it's just so it, it's so gently brutal it's like uh, first of all absolutely destroying you but at the same time it's like well uh, I go sorry to say that most of the time it takes more than one try. Yeah, most of the time it takes more than one try. Um, sometimes you're never gonna do it. You're never gonna, like, actually make it with the thing. Um, which is, like, certainly no reason not to try, though. And it's like, oof. I don't know, I just... I I really like Tick, tick, tick Boom in, in particular, I think. Because it it's about artists... It's like a story about artists written by an artist, or maybe not written by an artist, but like direct. I'm I'm so glad that Lin Manuel Miranda directed it. I guess is the the main thing of why I'm saying here, because I do not think that I do not think that that film could have been as good as it was without having someone who's done that, who's like done the struggling artist thing, done the constant no 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 until finally you get that like one yes. That one, just that, that one piece of yes can change everything. Yeah, it just, it just felt like a, a love letter to, like, theater and the arts and these people that make beautiful, incredible things, but, like, can't, but it's so hard to do it on the way there. I'm gonna fall down. That's what I'm gonna do. I just think it's lovely chat. I just think it's it, it's a wonderful movie. And again, it's I I would argue that Tick Tick Boom is a prime example of what you should do with a movie musical as compared to Dear Evan Hansen. It just there hmm. I don't want to talk too much about Dear Evan Hansen the movie because I just uh oof. There's just so many things done so beautifully by Tick Tick Boom. So many things that like the emotion, the way that the story like came across, the way that we were able to get in the heads of the characters. Is it the one on Netflix with Andrew Garfield? Yeah, it's the one with Andrew Garfield. Which by the way, Andrew Garfield, like curse you, you serious actor man, you curse you. I I mostly have seen Andrew Garfield in like Spider Man and stuff. It's like it's like, oh, somehow we all forgot that Andrew Garfield is, like, a really good actor. Somehow we didn't remember that he's, like, got a BAFTA. <sighs> he's just... Curse you, you serious artist actor, you. Curse you for making me feel things. Curse you for bringing a lot of emotion and heart to this role. And yes, that's, like, what you're supposed to do and what I wanted you to do. But, like, curse you. So I felt that dude 10 before I started seeing more things than Doctor Who. Yeah, it's like... Is that... Yeah, that one was supposed to be. It's like, oh man, I love this actor in, like, this uh, more, like, casual thing I've seen. And then you start seeing them in, like, big stuff and it's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> like, wow, that's, um... Whoa. <laughs> Didn't know you could pull that out of your little acting hat. Didn't know you could, um... Wow, it was... Oh, uh, okay. Just, Andrew Garfield did such a good job. And, oh gosh, the story about, um... Oh, uh, the... He had to, like, learn how to sing for the role. And that's... There's there's some funny stories with that. That always impresses me with the range. Yeah, it's like, how do... How are people, like funny and can be in like these lighthearted silly things but then also like in big important serious things like tick tick boom and i mean yes tick tick boom can be like very funny and stuff but you, serious art is not necessarily like serious 100 percent of the time what are you doing in my swamp 
but just like wow <sighs> wow the the serious art though it is sleeping time I'm gonna drink some water it's about the water chat it's about the water Where are you, S'more? Oh, there you are. Hey, pretty kitty. Hey, prettiest kitty. Just had to check on S'more. Just had to make sure I knew where they were. But man. How how dare Andrew Garfield, serious actor, be a very good actor man who can make me feel the things about his performances. It's like, oh man, did we did we just somehow forget that that Andrew Garfield is like good at what he does? Oh, but yeah, he had to like learn how to sing, and so he had like time with like a private vocal coach and stuff. And <laughs> gosh, the uh, if if you want to hear him tell the story, because he tells it great. Um, he does an interview with with like Jimmy Kimmel, I think it was about it. But so someone had like told uh, Lin Manuel Miranda that. Um, th they're like, oh yeah, Andrew Garfield, he has like a gorgeous voice. He he'll be great for the role. Like, yeah, it'll be, it'll be awesome. And Andrew Garfield is like, I can't do the singing things. And Lin-Manuel Miranda was like, okay, okay, we'll like get you like a vocal coach and stuff. And then like after a month of working with a coach, um, Andrew Garfield, he's like, he's, you know, alone in the room with the coach. So he's like kind of going for it, doing his thing. And then just like a shoe flies past his face and he's like, what? And it's Lynn standing there being like, I knew you could sing! Like, I knew you could do it! Now I don't have to recast you! <laughs> I just like... What a guy. What a guy, though. Lin-Manuel Lin -Manuel Miranda, everyone. Just throws, throws a shoe like, like, look, I knew you could do it! <laughs> like, yeah, oh. I just, I love that for him. I think that is... That that's yep. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Good for you, buddy. Let's get some things cleared out over here. I'm gonna need to expand my my little platform. My little itty bitty platform. A little bit. Gonna have to take it to the point where I can do the things. This seems to be the point. You son of a gun, you thought you could fool me? But you can sing! Haha, <laughs> you thought that you couldn't sing, but you were wrong! You can sing very well, in fact. And I mean, yeah, the singing's great. The singing sounds very good in Tick Tick Boom. It's like, wow. Like, good good on you, man. You, you did the singing, you did the songs, you did the sungin'. I do, uh, gosh, one of my, one of my favorite things about Tech Tech Boom, though, is that, like, so much emphasis is put on his relationship with his friend Michael. I just, and I, I mean, the, the movie Tech Tech Boom is based off of, like, the show Tech Tech Boom that John Larson actually wrote. John Larson, that's his name. Um, but I just, I don't know, I, I'm a sucker for stories about, like, strong friendships in media. And I appreciate that even though a lot of the emotional conflict of the movie was between John Larson and his girlfriend, there was, like, a hefty amount of the story was devoted to his relationship with his best friend and the things he was experiencing with, like, that and all the all the feels. It was good. It was a good movie. I watched it while I was, um... <laughs> sorting all the starbursts that I t told you guys a few days ago about. Which, by the way, that was like over 4,000 starbursts. And yes, I sorted and counted all of them. It was... It was a bit of an ordeal. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is where it's gonna get tricky. I need I need a bird's eye view or like a distance view on this one. Okay, so we are gonna go for a sudden jump upwards because the landscape does that. 
No, that's what I was worried about. I was worried that I was like doing this wrong, but no, no, we are we are gonna go for a sun jump up. So that'll be all right. But let's just begin by placing some spruce. Let's just, yeah, let's just fill in what we've got at the moment, not even worrying about the as of yet unmined sections. Just worrying about the stuff that we can take care of with the materials I have. Because we are definitely not gonna get all of the things done today. I'm going to, yeah, after we finish up with the supplies I've got here, I think we're gonna head back to my main village area and just get a heck a ton of spruce. Just like so many spruce and bring it out here. This is kind of turning out fun though. I like how the inconsistency of the like dirt layers gives this such a like tilted vibe. That will be fun to like add the supports to later. That'll be really fun to add the supports to. Placing supports for my area. We're so close to the uh to the ceiling here. <laughs> that's fine. That's chill, that's normal, that's okay. That's one hundred percent alright. Lots of spruce. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of spruce. Okay. Gotta hit that. This is gonna be so exciting when it's done. I'm thinking once, once we're done with this, I'm gonna remove a lot of this stone platform because I'm going to need, I mean, I'm probably going to leave this section to deal with all of this. But like this stuff right here, it's gonna go bye bye. Just so we can see, you know, what we've been working with, see what we've got going on. Yeah, this will be a tricky one to work with. Okay, yep, and we're gonna stop there um, on that because that's where it starts getting complicated. And let's just focus on this now. So this section is marginally less complicated by a very small margin. Marginally is a good word. I like the word marginally. <laughs> I'm, uh, fun fact chat, I was supposed to be turning some people into librarians today. That was the original plan, was to get this started as a librarian village. <laughs> That's been going well. Man, I sure do love all the librarians that we've gotten today. It's fine. It's chill. It's whatever. This is... Yeah, no problems. No problems at all. Ba -ba -ba, da -da 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 -da. I don't know why I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing a song. I have no clue why. I just I just started to hum, and then the words came out. I like making lyrics, even when they don't make sense. It's about an exercise in syllable lines. Hi chat. Fun fact, um, you can pretty much like do whatever you want with like fake song lyrics as long as the number of syllables in a line fits. No one will care. Okay, so this section goes up a 
quite a bit higher than that section. That'll be so fun to add the supports to. That'll be so fun to figure all that out. I love this just like little perfect stone area that we've got going on there. It's like such a perfect cutout. Just, it makes it very nice. I don't have to remember any, like, I don't know, weird lines or whatever. Just place the stuff. Okay, it is almost time for sleeping. Nope, not there. It is pretty close to sleeping time. Is it sleeping time? It's not quite sleeping time. We are getting there. Okay, I'm pulling out of the bed. It's sleeping time. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got him, chat. We got him. Okay. <sighs> I really need more spruce. <laughs> I am absolutely destroying my wood supply. <laughs> oh, you know what I really need? I really need a ton of iron. That's what I need. But on the plus side, this first little section is completed. And I think that means that we are going to start dismantling it. Okay, let's figure out where we want to not dismantle. Right here, okay. So let's just start putting a big ol' line there. Nope, I started this on the wrong one. Right here. Here's where we want to go. Alright. <laughs> let's just let's just get this massive amount of cobblestone back, you know? I'm sure this will be good for my pickaxe. Poor Fortuna, I don't have mending on her yet. Maybe I should maybe I should work on that. Maybe I should get that started. Just removing all of this stone. I'm not missing any. Okay. How much stone do I have in my inventory? Okay, not too much at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna end up with three more stacks of stone. No, not more than three. I'm bad at estimating things. Six more stacks of stone. That's my bet. That's what I think we've got coming for us. Oh, rip to Fortuna though. What a what an absolute rip for Fortuna. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine, this is normal. I'll just... I, I just need efficiency, that's the problem. Curses foiled again. Oh, sorry, S'more. Sorry, I started running into you a little bit there. That was pretty rude of me. Why would I ever run into my kitty? That's so weird. That's so weird that I would run into my kitty. Removing this stone. I think we're doing pretty good at the removing stone game. The stone is simply getting removed. It's gonna be all gone and Fortuna is going to be in some dire straits with <laughs> durability. But that'll be fine. I can just smack some mending on her. This is fine. This is chill. This is nothing to worry about whatsoever. I mean, it, it looks cool, and that's the important thing. Remember, chat, aesthetic uber alles. If we don't have the aesthetic, we have nothing. Okay, this is actually I'm gonna have to do from land, because I hate doing stuff while in water. Man, this was poor planning. Yay! Yay, this is fun. Ooh, I know I don't want to go to another yet. If I, like, find a fortress or something, I want a looting sword. So that I can loot from blazes and stuff. I've gotten pretty comfortable in fortresses in Amir's Paradise. And I'm just the slightest bit worried that that's going to, like, come back to bite me um, when I go to a fortress here. Because, you know, if I'm if I'm used to being like, oh yeah, I can just fight things, like, I want to be especially careful about wither skeletons is my main thing. 
I'm worried that I will be, you know, like not afraid of the wither skeletons. Oh, I'm going to have to fix this. That's fine. I'll fix it. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I'm worried that if I'm not uh, afraid of the wither skeletons, then I'm going to promptly perish to them. And I do not wish to do that. Yeah, I'll, fi I'll fix the water. I'll fix it. Yeah, I, I kind of did a number on this section. Boop, 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 boop. Yay! Got him. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's grab the old water bucket. Hold on. Let's see what we can do here. Trying to be careful with my source blocks. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. We're making it happen. <gasps> yeah! I told you I'd fix it. I told you I'd get this thing figured out. Without even any too many problems. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what we've done thus far. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Again, I like the I like the variation in this. I have a tendency to just make things like very straight and flat, and I think following the curve of the earth has definitely helped me out a bit there. Because we've got a very nice like variation and like height and stuff. Hi s'more. Hi pretty kitty. Okay. I think I think at this time it's probably time to head back to the uh to the village. To my village, to the village that I live in. Um I mean I could make a few lecterns. I could I could do that. I mean, we may as well. We may as well just do like a lectern or two. Just like figure, just you know, get a uh, get a few things. Okay, We've got books. We've got planks, and then it's like this. Is that supposed to be slabs? I think it's supposed to be slabs. Yep. Alright, we've got a lectern. We've got some slabs. Let's find an unemployed villager to uh, re-employ. This seems like a good house to trap someone in. Okay. Looks like we've got a candidate. A candidate for librarianhood. Got him. Hello, sir. Welcome to becoming a librarian. I will be your new employer as a person. Oh, oh you, you may want to move out of the way, s'mores. You want to you wanna become a librarian? Become a librarian. Please don't tell me someone else has attached to it. Come on, you're- You're right here. There we go. What is with this guy in Sweeping Edge? Do you just like Sweeping Edge for some reason? Like, what's up with that? I'm looking for... Efficiency or looting, I think, is the- is the goal at the moment. Definitely not Curse of Vanishing. Okay, blast protection. Not too interested in that. Not too interested in that trade either. Um, loyalty one. Nope, 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 nope. No, sorry, you're you're here forever. Yeah, sorry, it wasn't written on the ad. <laughs> Guy only knows how to write sweeping edge books starts sweating. He's like, uh Unbreaking three, interesting. He's like, wait, hold on. <laughs> I only know how to do sweeping edge. 
Imagine if this guy just kept giving me sweeping edge, but like in increasing like levels of it. It was like sweeping edge one, sweeping edge two, sweeping edge three. And like just kept going for it. Can you move out of that space, please? That's where I'm going to be putting your tool block. Multi shot. Come on. Oh man, rip to a guy who would only know how to do sweeping edge. That person would have like no uses for me because I don't like sweeping edge. Aqua affinity, I've already got my aqua affinity helmet. That's not gonna fly. Fortune one, I've already got Fortuna. There we go. And you've got the trash trade. Come on. Come on. You can't escape. You can't escape your fate. Is it time to sleep? Listen, we'll talk about this in the morning. But you are becoming a librarian. Oh. Curse of Vanishing. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Come on. It's just occurred to me that I have no way to lock in the trades while I'm here. So maybe it would be better for me to just leave this guy in this house. You know what? Yeah, we're we're just going to leave because, again, if I get like the trade that I want and then have nothing to lock it in with, we're just going to, yeah. And Hardcore, your entire world has Curse of Vanishing. I mean, you ain't special. This is hardcore. Everyone's got Curse of Vanishing. The person's like, uh, would you like a Curse of Vanishing book? And it's like, this is hardcore. Everyone's got Curse of Vanishing. Everyone and everything is Curse of Vanishing. Like, come on. That's useless. Alright, we might try and get another villager in here. Yeah, because I've got I've got the supplies to make another um to make another bookshelf and lectern and stuff. Lectern and bookshelf and lectern and bookshelf and lectern. And no, not quite there. I want it a little deeper. There. Ha, got him. <laughs> I'll put the torch back. Uh, just out of curiosity, what's your trade? I'll leave it, because it's not efficiency 5. Um, and efficiency 5 would be ideal. Uh, and again, I do have nothing to lock in the trade, and if it changes while we're gone, then I'll just redo it. Yep. Okay. Now I gotta find my way back to my village. Just making sure. Yep, I've got everything. Including my pretty kitty kitty cat, I assume. S'more? S'more? S'more, did you get locked in the house? S'more? S'more? Come on, kitty. We're going this way. S'more. Come on. Good kitty cat. Good pretty kitty. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We've got s'more. But yeah, not everything everything has curse of vanishing in hardcore, <laughs> including the world itself. What, a, what an innovative system for everything to just apply Curse of Vanishing to itself. Wow, incredible. You love to see it. You, you just really, really love to see it. Okay, so we're, we're headed back to my base at the moment. I want to get a ton more, like, sugarcane and paper and stuff so that when we come back, I can lock in those trades. Um... I need a whole ton of spruce. That's another thing that we need. And um, I don't know, I think I, I think I should also just start looking for iron 
is the main thing because I'm going to need a whole ton of it. A whole lot of iron. I'm pretty sure we go like just straight this way. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain. Maybe a little bit this way, but not too much. Okay, and s'more's still following. That's the important bit. As long as we've got s'more, we're good. As long as we've got s'more following us, then we're doing a-okay. Wee! I miss respiration. I really want respiration. Traveling along. Okay, pumpkins. I remember those from our journey. <laughs> oh boy. Pumpkin. Chat's about the pumpkin. Have you ever had a pumpkin? Because it's about the pumpkin. That's what you do, you get the pumpkin. And. <sighs> this is a different village. Wow. And it's another floating one. Okay, what is with 118 and floating villages? Huh? What is up with that? Why is this the norm? Why is this okay? This is so dangerous. Why are you like this? Is there even any way to get over there? Why? I mean, I just... Uh, yes, I'll steal their hay bales. But, like, why? Why is 118 like this? Why are all the villages floating? Why are they just suspended in the sky? Uh, I don't know, chat. I don't get it. Like, there's not even a way to get to most of these places. Where are my cords? Okay, well... For the falling for my beloved. Um, I think we need to angle a bit more this way. I just don't understand. I just don't understand the whole hanging village thing. <sighs> it's weird. Is this a world chasm? But look, chat, it's a world chasm. I want to be super careful with this. Because that could kill me, but that right there is a world chasm. That is, in fact, what we call a world chasm. Awesome. That probably means I'm not going the right direction. Okay, we gotta go more this way. <sighs> Chat, there's a world chasm right there. It's a world chasm. Why? Why is it like this? Yeah, I really just started going the exact wrong way, huh? Interesting. Well, is this another world chasm? Oh, we gotta be so careful. We gotta be so careful, S'more. I think this is another world chasm. What is with world chasms and existing? Huh? What's up with that? Do they think it's their right or something to exist? Do they think that they are just entitled to existence? I mean, I know that I spent so long yesterday looking for a world chasm, but... Shh. Yeah, I really just kind of headed, started heading the wrong way. Weird. I should actually write down my coordinates this time. I should, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're still going this way. I'm pretty sure we're still supposed to be heading in this direction. Okay, let's just... Hmm. This generation is still making me think 118. But... This environment does remind me of my spawn. So we're just gonna keep going for it. 
Feather Falling 4, my beloved. I feel much safer with it now. I feel much less likely to just randomly die. Which is good. Because remember, chat, the number one goal is always survival. Eat food. Alright, we've consumed the food. Okay, we should be getting close to my spawn. I was like, oh, I know which way to go. I won't get lost this time. I don't need to write down my coordinates. And then I was foolish, chat, and then I was wrong about that. I was very incorrect. Hi, puppy. This is looking familiar. This little, like, rock thing. This is, this is looking like the, where I gotta go. Okay. Fun fact, every time I jump into water in Minecraft, I always look down because, um, it's the dive instinct. Where I'm like, oh, I'm going, I'm going down in water. I should dive for it. So I'm always like, whoop, as if I'm going into a dive. I don't think it actually changes anything. But it makes me feel better about my life. <sighs> where am I? Where am I, chat? Where have I where have I taken myself? Cause this is not looking like my home. Where am I? Well, Let's just, you know, let's just decrease my X value for a little bit. Because. Oof. No, let's actually sleep. Let's just, yep. Oh, and S'more is helping us out, so that's very nice. That's very good. Oh, you brought me a feather. Thank you, S'more. Thank you so much. Um. Let's travel this way a little bit. That seems like a good plan. <sighs> Again, if I think I'm like lost, I can just head back to my spawn and try and figure that out again. Is that a world chasm? Wait. I recognize this. Do I go this way? Because I, I remember seeing that and thinking like, hmm, that's odd. <laughs> okay, chat, we're on our uh, getting lost arc. I think maybe this way is the way to go. Hmm. Where are my cords? Okay, let's try it. I feel like going this way may be correct. I remember seeing that big open hole thing in the ground and being like, well, that's odd that that's, you know, like perfectly shaped. Fun times, fun times. This would be much better if I just written down my coordinates, but I didn't. I very foolishly did not write down my coordinates. Okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna do a spot of wandering. I made my way back to my house earlier. <laughs> I was like, hmm, yes, I know my way back. I know how to get back this time. And that was a lie. That was a heckin' lie. No, don't... Oh, why, why am I getting lost? I thought we were over this. We established earlier that I might actually have some sense of direction. But not anymore, apparently. Oh, Tally's barking. Hmm. Okay, so we're back to that village. At the very least, I know how to find my way back to the spruce village. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Uh, 
Okay, you know what? Let's find zero zero. I know that that's probably not actually my spawn. But like, you know, we'll, we'll just go that way and see if I recognize anything nearby. <sighs> Why didn't I write down my coordinates? Why did I not do that? This is fine. This is okay, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll find our way back eventually, chat. We'll, we'll make our way back to our house. <sighs> Hi, chat. I'm having a bit of a day. Mainly due to my own inability to um, remember things. Bam. MLG. Okay. This should be nearby zero zero. Okay. I remember these flowers. Okay. Wait, and I think if I go up like this mountain area, then my house will be this way. I think. <gasps> Super trees! <sighs> okay. Super trees chat. Okay, okay. We're all right. We're okay. This is fine. Okay, the super trees have been found. They are the landmark guiding us home. Whoo. Okay. We made it. It's all okay now. <laughs> We're doing just fine. And here's the house. And the wandering trader's still here. Interesting. And all my coppers here. Wow. Incredible. You love to see it. Whew. All right, S'more. Come on in. And you don't want to meet the dogs, okay? I was gonna introduce you to the puppies, but um, I guess you just don't want to meet them. <sighs> well, oh, there we are. Hey, smart. Um, how about you come over here and we find you a place to sit? There you are. <sighs> I just want my kitties to stay safe. And we've got all this still going on. Wow, it feels like ages since I started this smelting. Okay, we're back. We're okay. We're doing well. This is fine. This is normal. We're okay. Oh, okay. We're all right. That was a bit intense there for a second. I'm glad that we got it worked out. I need things. Okay, I need I need lots of things. I need sugarcane. I need spruce. I need all kinds of other stuff. But I think I think for the moment we might take a break here. I'm actually gonna change the music. We've been having some pretty intense stuff all day. But let's get let's get some different tunes on for the past, last like half hour. Okay, that should be good. Let's turn up a little bit. That'll work. Okay. Hi chat. Welcome back to the ranch. I'm gonna get some uh, hay. We're gonna feed the cows. We're gonna harvest the carrots. Carrots probably haven't been harvested at all in a while. Gonna take some time to like maybe trade with some villagers, get our supplies back up. You know, all that good stuff. Are you prepared for food. Yes, you are. Very good. Very nice. You love to see it. 
Oh, and the cows are crackling. Mm, I do love the sound of cows crackling in the morning. All right. Yep, and I'll get started on some more leather. Hello, everyone. It's good to be back. It's good to be home. We've had a lot of very intense work today. <laughs> Let's just take a sec to chill. Nice. That's good. Getting some stuff there, too. And then this one. There's so few cows in it. <laughs> it's it's working on it. It's getting there. You know, it's it's figuring its life out. And we've got all these carrots. And let's harvest some carrots. I do I, I enjoy harvesting carrots. Oh, that one wasn't ready. Whew. You know, I'm very excited for the hanging village. Um like for the stilts but like that is going to be a lot of work and sometimes it's just good to do some little domestic chores you know just harvest your crops feed your animals uh, trade with the local populace i need to i need to start working on getting a bunch of unbreaking three um maybe i run some books through the enchanting table a few times see if i can get any efficiency Oh, I still need to run my shovel through the enchanting table. Probably, ooh, I'd love to get mending on Fortuna. I do want to get efficiency, like, f to full efficiency before that, though. Huh. Missed a spot. So just making sure I haven't missed any other spots, and I think we're good. Okay. This will get me, like... <laughs> 16 emeralds probably this is not going to be a lot of emeralds but it's about the it's about the the farm vibes chat we are on the ranch we better act like it is it almost yeah okay it is almost sleepy time so let's just finish up this row and find a nice little spot to place our bed Bop. all the yule log puts minecraft cows crackling Oh, honestly, that does sound really fun. <laughs> <sighs> that sounds like it would be a chef's kiss. Okay, I'm gonna drink some water. Eight. Eight. Bop. And it's back to carrots. Carrots. Man, those carrots, they sure are carrots. I think my favorite thing about planting carrots is, I don't know, planting carrots. They're, they're just funny looking. Ooh, no, I know my favorite thing about planting carrots. Um, Chat, did you know that uh, carrots take two years to mature properly? Um. I, I don't remember the name of the class of things, but so you know how there's like um, perennial and um, what's the other one? Ugh, I can't remember the technical terms at the moment, but you know how there are plants that like stick around every year and like keep coming back like bushes and um, like trees and stuff. And then there are the plants that you have to like replant every year. Things like like a lot of flowers are that way and um, like a lot of food crops are that way, too. Uh, carrots are actually, um, they have a two-year lifespan. So in the first year, the carrot plant grows the actual, like, carrot, because carrots themselves are just, like, a storing of nutrients for the plant. The plant is basically like, hmm, yes, I will get all of these nutrients and I will just shove them into this one, like, little root thing that I have. And that's the carrot. Um, for the, and that's usually, like, when we pick the carrots to eat them but if you want to like get carrot seeds you have to wait until the next year when the carrot plant will use the um will use the carrots that it like the, the carrot that made that like tuber to uh grow the seeds so you know fun times with that yay 16 emeralds that's good that's good 
which that's always good to, you know, get 16 emeralds. Get enough 16 emeralds and someday you'll have 64 emeralds. So that's good news. That's good times. Ooh, while I'm at my house, I should take my coordinates. Just a random funny thought about that. I should look at what my coordinates say when I'm over there. Was the wheat gonna need planting soon? No, sorry, harvesting soon. Um, might give it a little bit longer. That's a good start. Are the cows ready for their food? Not quite around here. Okay, we'll give them a bit more time there. And the wandering trader is still here. Go away, I got everything I wanted from you. Get out of here. Be gone. Okay. And what was I gonna do here? Let's drop these books off. Um maybe let's harvest the sugar cane. What was it that I was gonna do? Coordinates. Okay. 295, negative 114. Let's see, let's get um I'm making a new document. Coordinates are hardcore. Okay, and we've got um, my house. We're, no, let's call it the ranch. And we are at uh, two ninety five comma negative one fourteen. All right, that's good. I'm glad we figured that out. Okay, <laughs> now next time I get lost. I have my coordinates, so I can make it back. <sighs> Getting lost earlier was very stressful. Because I was concerned that I would have to start over. You know, like, get a house and uh, a food supply and the materials for, like, smelting things. I wouldn't be starting entirely over because I do still have, like, my gear. But... But I mean, it's it's more than just about the gear. You have to have like your support system too. You gotta have the support, the support for the things. It's like chat, you know. Like humans are social creatures. We need support from each other, but we also need support from things like tools <laughs> and civilization. All right. Let's get some paper in here. I could keep this paper to take over to the stilts village, but um, I do think I want to use this batch for trying to level up the <laughs> uh, the unbreaking villager. Actually, I could probably grab some emeralds and pick up an unbreaking book too. An unbreaking three book. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would love to start stockpiling emeralds, but honestly, at this point, it's probably better to just use them. Ba, 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 ba. And I need a book. Yay! Let's go talk to a villager. Let's go see what a villager thinks. What they have to consider. Oh gosh, so chat the... Okay. Iron is the number one resource that I am going to need. Um, because I want to mill- I want to build the, um, like the- the little dock ramp things out of iron. I could do it out of wood, but I'm using a ton of wood, like, with the stilts and stuff, and I'd love to have a different, like, color along with it, a different texture piece. So, I think we're gonna try and get enough iron for iron blocks. I'm- <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be like basically impossible without an iron farm. I'm sure I can do it. I'm sure that this won't blow up in my face at all. I'm I'm sure that that'll be fine. I just level up, why don't you? Level up. I could I could go for the lantern trades, or sweeping edge two if I wanted to, but. 
Dang it, I'm buying the lanterns. I feel gross. I feel... Ugh. That was very unfortunate. I didn't like that a lot. I just... I want name tags. Give me name tags, please. <laughs> okay, well, now that we've got that sorted, now that we've figured all that out, I'm going to stand at the top of this water because I can. Things we need to do. The toolsmith is leveled up all the way. I mean, that's not a bad pickaxe, but for two nights is definitely better. I could have just gotten in breaking two shovel, but I don't think I had the emeralds for it. Um... You are a new leather worker. I haven't talked to you before. There's... Yeah, you're the one I've talked to before. These boots look like they're heels, and I honestly respect them for that. Not gonna wear them because my boots are better, but like, I, I respect it. I respect the hustle. Okay, I could also go for flint to leather that guy. To leather that guy up level. Oh my gosh. This would be much easier if I had a steady supply of emeralds. I could, like, find some melons instead of a melon farm, but that feels a bit excessive. I've got my carrot farm already, but that takes some time. I could get another farmer with, like, potatoes instead of an entire potato farm. Ultimately, I think getting an iron farm is probably just my best bet at having things. But I need the spare villagers for that. I mean, I could just take, like, hold on, we've got, like, one, two, three, no, not you, not you, um, three, that's, like, three extra villagers? I need five, I think, for an effective iron farm. I could, I could breed some. I could take a look at that and figure it all out. But it'd be better to build the iron farm over near where the hanging, where the stilt village is, because... That's where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time. It's- oh gosh. It's just very difficult, actually. One thing that I know that we're going to need, though, is a whole ton of spruce, so I think I'm going to go desecrate the super trees that have been my only landmark that I remember where they are. <sighs> I keep reaching this point where I'm like, yeah, no, I've, like, definitely, um... I've definitely reached, like, a point of self-sufficiency. Like, this is alright, I'm going to be okay now. And then I just, like, run into resource supply issues and be like, no. Should I actually go down in a cave? I haven't done very much caving today. Mostly because caves are terrifying death traps, but, like... I bet I could handle a little cave. I could, I could do a small one. Just for... It would be for collecting iron for my projects. You know, things things that you need. To be fair, this is not exactly a little cave. Um, so maybe there's that to be wary about. Hmm. We'll take a look. We'll go on a small little explore. If I could find, like, a spawner, that would be great. Mm. Let's just take the plunge. I was like, the cobblestone spawner? But then I was like, no, I placed that. That was me. Ooh, we've got a fun little underground area there. Interesting, but ultimately not very profitable. I'm hearing zombie noises from somewhere, which could just be cave ambience. Ambiance. Iron. That's good. <laughs> well, just this, like, big open cave area ends up being, like, just a tiny little section. Oh, hello. Perish. And that's going to call every single zombie in the area to me. So I'm just gonna have to commence carefully. That's a zombie with- that's a skeleton with a bow. Let's use some corners. Whoop. Got him, got him, got him. 
I fear skeletons in hardcore. Like in in regular game, I'm usually like pretty chill with them, but in hardcore, I uh, they're kind of frightening. Okay, Fortuna is going to need mending really fast. Like I've just been using Fortuna for so much today. That's gonna come back to bite me. Which I do have a mending book. I did also want to get the rest of the efficiency on there first. But Fortuna's health and safety might be more important than my desire to do enchantments in the quote-unquote right order. I think this may be one of those situations where it's more important to care for my pickaxe than to, like, I don't know, concede to society's demands on what a pickaxe should and shouldn't be. Let's wax philosophical about the role of pickaxes in our modern society. I'm very scared of creepers. In hardcore, they are deadly. I mean, in regular game, they're deadly too, but like, usually if you've got armor, you'll be alright. But, and I've heard some bad stories about uh, hardcore creepers. This seems like a death trap. This is probably like the worst direction for me to go. Oh, but it, it ends here, so we're okay. This is fine. This is A-OK. -okay. Picking up the coal, picking up the coal. Coal is a good resource to pick up. And iron, see chat, I told you that this was a, uh, this was a profitable trip, haha. -ha. I told you that this was all for a purpose. Let's get... No. I, was, I tried to... <laughs> there we are. Got him. <laughs> We're doing alright. And I remember a bit more iron up here. Yep. I left it because I wanted to explore the area fully first, but... Um, yeah. So I think after we finish up with the iron and coal and stuff in here... We're going to head back up to the surface because it's about time to end stream. And um, and yes, I will indulge my resource gremlin tendencies before that, but... And we're on the left side. You're supposed to not do that. Me putting... Me, like, being consistent with the side that I put my torches on is really the only thing that saves me down here. Like, I got lost earlier today just, like, on a routine, like, village excursion. I would not survive. <laughs> and... Oh, okay. Well, there's that. That cave has been semi-explored at this point. Alright, so let's go ahead and find an area. I'm gonna leave that cobble there just because it's a, it's a falling hazard. I want to be careful about that. Alright, let's go ahead and jump out here and go for a farewell. Thanks for coming today. Um, it's we're trying out the new schedule of like doing a bit more hardcore and you know I, I think it's working out um i'll be back tomorrow it's one of the days we're going to be in mayor's paradise so watch out for that um we may have some more lore relevant things going on that, uh, friday saturday so keep an eye out for that <sighs> yeah i'm sorry i was up in the middle of the night because tally wanted me to pet her um she just, like, woke me up and was like, pet me, and I was like, ah, I'm asleep. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Mook. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what happens, too. Um, I stream Monday through Saturday, starting at 1pm East <coughs> Eastern time. Oh, gosh, what was my voice there? Um, so, yeah, so Friday, Saturday, gonna be Mayor's Paradise, as well as Monday, but then, um, Tuesday we'll be back in Hardcore. Once you will be variety, and yeah, I should make an announcement on the Discord for that so people know what's going on. Anyways, um, I'll just let you guys go today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks for coming. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy this frog. It's a, it's a pretty frog, and I'll see you later.